Hey folks, Dr. Mike here from Renaissance Periodization, and today's BS topic claim, rather, is that it's better to not take blood pressure medications, and it's so much better not to take them that it's just worth trying to reduce your blood pressure naturally through diet and exercise and all those good things, even natural supplements that reduce blood pressure. Well, let's take a look, and why is this BS after all? So, yes, if you have high blood pressure, you absolutely should be, in almost every case, trying to lose weight and improve your health in a myriad of other ways, through exercise and diet and so on and so forth, so that your blood pressure falls to a very low number. And yes, ideally, you should not have to take medicines to be healthy. Agreed not some pill-pushing big pharma jerk with a suit and a tie and profits for oil on his shoes. You're all the same people. The people running the world, man. In any case, yeah, it would be sweet to be healthy without having to take any medication. Agreed. At the very least, just something you don't have to take every morning and miss a dose, blah, blah, blah. However, however, chronic high blood pressure even mildly elevated chronic high blood pressure wreaks fucking havoc on every single organ system you have. It fucking destroys your body. Arguably, the worst part about it is that it is so subtle. Other than the blood pressure cuff telling you you're going to die soon, it's asymptomatic. You can't even tell if you have, other than extremely high blood pressure, which is a, what do you feel like this? And you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. You can't even tell. The fucking big silent killer is high blood pressure. And it doesn't kill you in a year. It doesn't kill you in five. But in 15 years, when you're 45 years old and you got, you know, your your kids are starting to go to college or something and you're excited about potential grandchildren, you go see your doctor and your doctor's like, your kidneys will stop working right now. Go to dialysis forever. And by the way, you're in the beginning of losing your color vision and then all the rest of your vision do you have a cut on your foot that's not healing so well? You're like, yeah, well, the blood pressure fucked up that too. And actually through a variety of mechanisms, blood pressure fucked with your kidneys and fucked with your pancreas and fucked with everything else. You're also now pre-diabetic. You'll have diabetes soon. I mean, every organ system. Oh, P.S. Your heart is too big, but not in a good way because it's been pushing against this chronic high blood pressure. And now it's going to try to give up on you pretty fucking soon. Bad news. Bad news. In the overweight, blood pressure is one of the top killers. In the non-overweight, blood pressure, high, chronic, even mildly elevated, is one of the top killers. It's just bad fucking news. So, if you want to take a very serious stab at addressing your blood pressure, because I think maybe I have convinced you so far, maybe? If not, sorry. If I have convinced you so far that high blood pressure chronically is bad, there is a three-tiered approach to how to deal. And here it is. You show up to the doctor, and it turns out you have high, high blood pressure, okay? Probably the best course of action, of course, to be confirmed by your doctor. But what I'm telling you is when the doctor brings this up, don't resist, right? Let the blood pressure meds flow through you. Meh. Isn't Emperor Palpatine so great? So many great lines. Tier one, when you get diagnosed with high blood pressure, and you have some reason to believe it is chronic and even no reason to believe it is chronic. As long as there is no obvious like, oh yeah, I've been drinking 10 gallons of salt water a day type of reasons, get on blood pressure meds ASAP to get your blood pressure controlled. ASAP. And get it right back into the normal range. The modern ecosystem of pharmacology surrounding blood pressure, I don't even know what generation of blood pressure drugs we're on. It's like six. And... It doesn't really matter how high your blood pressure is. There is a combination of drugs or a dosing of drugs or some combination of dosing and number of drugs that can get it well into the lower realm. As a matter of fact, people who OD on their blood pressure drugs pass out because of ultra low blood pressure. Your blood pressure can be lowered by pharmacology in almost every case to a very healthy level. Next, once your low blood pressure is controlled, which is to say later that day when you pick up your script from Walmart and go like this. Keep taking the blood pressure meds and then start to thread in that lifestyle intervention that you were so busy telling people you're so excited about because I ain't never going to use them drugs, man. I'm going to do it the right way. I'm going to do it healthy, natural. 
Great. Now that you're on the drugs, also try the natural stuff, which is the long-term stuff that can really help. Lower your blood pressure via fitness. Control your diet. Probably lose some fat. Get your training in check. Train hard. Get your lifestyle in check. Stop smoking meth cigarettes or whatever the hell you're doing that is causing you high blood pressure. Reduce stress, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But here's the thing. Those things take time. They take days. They take weeks. They take months. They take years to slowly bring your blood pressure down to what it can be when it's in a good range. But what you want to do is bring it down with pharmacology first. And then as you improve your health, you will need less and less and less pharmacology in order to keep your blood pressure normal. Because if you take the same amount of drugs that you were back when you were 290 and ultra unhealthy, by the time five years later you get to 220 and pretty fucking damn healthy, you'll have to take like one fifth the dose or half of the blood pressure medicines that you used to. Amazing, awesome, awesome, awesome. If at the end of this journey, your blood pressure is now so low with meds, any meds, even low dose that you're like, stand up out of a chair and you're like, holy fuck, I just sit back down. I was almost passing out. If that's the case for you, you can absolutely, with the blessings of your doctor, come off of the blood pressure medicine and then you won't be on medicine. And then you can fucking harangue everyone you see about how, well, I got in such good shape. I don't even need blood pressure medicine anymore. I don't know why you're a Southern man seemingly from Tennessee in this impersonation, but it's all I have for today. God damn it. That's cool. However, if you get to a point where you are at a healthy weight, you're managing all of the lifestyle variables you can be and have been for a while, but your blood pressure is still too high if you don't take the meds, keep taking the fucking meds. How long, Dr. Mike? Forever. Modern blood pressure medicines are ultra safe, ultra sustainable, and basically don't have side effects. I know they have nominal side effects, but in the real world, they fucking don't. I've taken a few different blood pressure medicines. I am now, TMI, I am uh, now, what am I on? 10 milligrams uh, every morning of amlodipine. And God fuck if I know how it works, but I'll tell you this, I can't tell if I take it or if I don't. The only way I would know is if I stopped taking it, my blood pressure would go like this, which I'm absolutely fucking not interested in. Dr. Mike, aren't you healthy and why do you take blood pressure meds? Because I weigh 250 pounds and I'm sauced up to the fucking moon. You know, within reason. By IFBB standards, no. But by human standards, yes. So the blood pressure meds counteract it. Here's the thing. You don't have to be sauced up to the moon to have chronic high blood pressure, even if you're otherwise healthy. One of the number one causes of chronic high blood pressure is just you have the genetics for having high blood pressure. And even though you're eating an all-kale, vegan-only, keto carnivore diet, and you're spending 18 hours every single hour, think about that, time portal hyperbolic time chamber. At the gym, your blood pressure could still be chronically elevated. And that's just a thing that happens. And then you take blood pressure medicine. So to recap, you have high blood pressure, get on medicine, bring it down to normal. Work on all the other health stuff that gives you high blood pressure and everything else. If you control your blood pressure, because you're ultra obese and super out of shape and a cigarette smoker, that shit is killing you in 50 different other ways that doesn't include blood pressure. So you should still be trying to get fit and lean and healthy for all those other reasons. But blood pressure is no longer one of them. Once you get fit, lean and healthy and everything's great, your doctor, as you get there, will titrate your blood pressure medicine to make sure you don't get too low in the blood pressures. If at the end of that, you can come off all the blood pressure meds and it's great, amazing, amazing. If at the end of that, you still need 10 milligrams of lisinopril or whatever a day to keep in your good blood pressure range, awesome. Who gives a flying fuck? You have this pill made by Big Pharma. I know, it's evil. And it allows you to live for five years longer at the tail end of your life because it's preventing you from having high blood pressure for no fucking reason that you're aware of, just fucking pure genetics. And it's saving your ass. And the pill costs like a cent a day or something, blood pressure medicine's almost free. I have no idea how the companies make it even fucking make money. I'd gladly pay 10 times the amount for blood pressure. I also tip my landlord. Many of you guys catch that meme. In any case, this whole idea of, well, I don't want to get on blood pressure meds for my blood pressure. I want to deal with the old fashioned ways. Fucking bullshit. Because at the end of the day, the potential downsides of the negative health 
or poisoning or my children turn out to be frogs instead of children when I have them because the DNA got messed up by the blood pressure meds, whatever the risks are there, and there are some risks and downsides, they're this big. And the risks of chronic uncontrolled high blood pressure or even the risks of taking several months to get in shape to get your blood pressure to go down or several months risks is like this and never controlled risks is like through the fucking ceiling in the studio here. At some point, it's uh, you're just saying dumb shit. Pharmacology is your friend if used wisely in the time when it's a good idea and with the direction of your doctor. And if you have some ideas about that, well, I don't want to use the medicine, it's a crutch. It's not a fucking crutch. It's a tool, right? I sound so mean today. <laughs> Just been under a lot of stress. I do um, I do a lot of, you guys probably know this, I do a lot of male modeling. And uh, I've just been getting a lot of work. I was at a like, modeling convention in Hong Kong a few days ago. I just flew back. And the thing is, in the modeling industry, um, they want you to look good all the time, which I do. Uh, but also, they work you so hard and fly you around the world, Milan, Hong Kong, Singapore, that it tires you out. And, like, you know, like, you get the bags under your eyes when you travel. It's just tough. It's just being a good model and doing the modeling work. It's a clash. So... I'm taking some time to myself. No more modeling for a bit. Woosah. Uh, when I'm feeling pretty again, I'll uh, I'll hit a pose. As a matter of fact, I'll hit a pose right now for you guys as we uh, see this video out. <clears throat> you ready? 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 <sighs> Good, right? See you next time.